Hi there. These are uh, my gaming chairs and let's compare both of these. This is Acer Predator gaming chair. This is what I owned. And beside this, this is called Gaming Freak Trixie Throne. Let's compare them. Both of these chairs is about in the range of 800 ringgit. Um, originally, this is 1299, but I, I see a lot of people actually selling it around 899 to 799, so it's in the range of 800, uh, 800 plus. Whereas this one, uh, the recommended price is 899, but when people are selling it around 700 plus to 800, so similarly priced, yeah. Well, in terms of design, both of these is pretty similar. They both have this uh, bucket design for racing cars. And as you can see, these are the shapes. Yep. And both come with the neck pillow, which is similar as well. Yeah, in terms of the quality as well as the material. And what's inside there is also the same because uh, it's not memory foam, it's just normal, you know, um, some polyester mesh. Well, in terms of lumbar support, this comes with a cushion, yeah, which is cute. And this is uh, a lumbar uh, with foam, yeah. But it's not memory foam, so it's rather hard for me. But this is somehow, you know, adjustable. You can actually push it, push it up and down, you yeah? know. Whereas that one doesn't come with any belt systems. Let's look at the armrest, yeah? This is the highest the Acer can go up to, whereas this is the highest it, the Trixie Throne can go. And this is a 2D and this is 4D. Okay, what does it mean by 2D? Meaning that this can only go down and up and swivel, okay? But it's yeah a little wobbly, but this one wobbles a lot more. Maybe it's bigger as well. So this can actually go up and down, left and right, which is the same here. But it can also do this, front and back, okay, and inwards and outwards. Yeah, by pressing this button. See that? Yeah. So you got two more directions than this. And in terms of the quality, I mean the feel, they're about the same. Yeah. But this is looks this is a little bit smoother. Um, this is slightly rougher. So in terms of the foam density, yeah, uh, this is pretty good, yeah. Uh, in terms of the foam density, uh, which is covering the frame, but if it's not covering the frame, you see that this part is actually pretty hollow. And this one, and this is the frame, the steel frame. And here, you can also feel the foam, because this is pretty hollow. Yeah, so this is, in foam density wise, you know, uh, the Gaming Freak is doing a better job. So this as well, you can see that here, when you press on it, you can actually see it. it's not, you can't really feel it's thin, yeah, in there. Whereas this one, yeah, that's basically it, yeah. You can almost touch your fingers because the foam here is very little, but it's sufficient covering the frame, yeah. As you can see, yeah, pretty thin, yeah. And this is pretty thick. So, in terms of the quality of the linings, stitchings, yeah, this is this is good. This is just as good as well. Let's talk about this foam here on the seats. When I sit on it, yeah, they are both the same, yeah. In terms of the density, it's almost the same. But the thing is, this seat, I'm not sure you can see this, but this is actually a board, so it's flat here. So when I actually sit on it, the whole piece here is flat. So after a while, you will feel that, you know, um, your bottom is not curved like how a human bottom should be. It's flat and you feel that it's slightly painful after that. This 
which is using a, some nylon belts which will flex yeah according to your butt according to your bottom so if your bottom is you know somehow in a u-shape it will also you know follow your u-shape bottom so it's not flat yeah so this is much comfortable to sit on for long hours let's talk about the base here this is a nylon base but it's very sturdy yeah and the wheels the caster is very smooth which is fine with me and this is slightly better this is steel base yeah so for steel base that also means this will last a lot more longer but i don't know how long you want to uh, use these chairs because most likely these two base will not want off before the pu here start peeling off you get what i mean four five years six years yeah this will start to peel off and that's normal yeah because they're pu so these two to me is not really that important yeah this might, might last forever but what about the pu here what about the armrest and as for the wheels here they are not really smooth uh, I think this is manufacturing defect, but that's okay. Yeah, they're willing to change for me. Um, yeah, as you can see, there are some scratches here. That's because of the wheels which are not turning, which scratch my floors. In terms of the branding, I think this is more, so much better. Um, Gaming Freak is actually by AVF Computer Ferro Group in Malaysia, which is quite famous. Uh, selling mouse, keyboards and gadgets, yeah. So they actually came up with this gaming freak and yeah, it's actually pretty nice. And Acer, the Predator is their gaming yeah, subsidiary, I would say, yeah, mainly for their gaming. So this looks proper, yeah. And let's take a look behind. So behind this comes with uh, so much bigger logo than this one later you see that um, it says predator but um, somehow it's blocked by those belts but normally I don't use the plumber anyway so you can see pretty uh, obvious without them well this one is just a very small gaming freak yeah design here so in terms of the reclining, uh, both can actually recline to 150 degrees. Actually, I don't mind because I wouldn't be lying down that way anyway. Uh, the most I go is about yeah this much. So this is uh, already uh, reclined a little. So I normally go to this and that's the max. So both can do the work uh, well. And the design of this uh, lever or handle it's the same yeah just that this is in black that is in white so that's it thanks for watching and uh, i do hope that if you are really shopping for a gaming chair you know what you're looking for uh, and these two chairs are actually pretty good for people who are not so tall like me around 166 167 so they're just perfectly well yeah if you are shorter than that then your liquid might not be able to touch the the floor yeah you might but you sit still only on a longer time then you feel that you your tight will be numb thanks for watching and i do hope this comparison helps bye